Hi, this is Mike Wallach with TriMac. I want to show you the basics of coordinate entry in DraftSite. So here I have a block of a kitchen sink, and I want to make some copies of this block several different ways. I can use Cartesian coordinate entry, where I enter an X value, comma, and a Y value, or if I'm working in 3D, a Z value. Uh, but if I'm not working in 3D and don't enter a Z, it just assumes that Z is zero. Then there's polar coordinates, where we give it a distance and then type the angle or less than sign and an angle value. And it makes a copy at whatever distance and angle are specified. And then there's direct distance, where we just move the mouse in the direction we want to go and enter a distance value, and it creates my copy at that distance. So let's see this in practice. We'll hit copy, select the block, pick a base point. Now, I want to create a copy over in this area at negative 4, 4. So I'm going to type negative 4, comma, 4. Enter, and there's my copy. Now, for my next one, I want this to be at a distance of 4, but an angle of 30. So I'm going to type 4, angle, make that 4, angle, 30, enter, and there it is. Now, I'm going to turn on ortho, and with the third method, direct distance, I'm just going to drag this over this way. Uh, say I want this one to be at 3.5, so I'm just going to enter 3.5 and hit enter, and that's it. Say I want to create one this way at three units, just up. So three, enter. If I turn off ortho and just move it in this direction, say I want this one to be you know, 4.5, then it still works, but the angle is uncontrolled. It's just whatever angle I happen to be holding it in. For more information on absolute versus relative coordinate entry, please see my previous video. I hope you found that useful and have a good day.